Last time we talked about the different materials used in dental crowns. But let's say you already had your tooth prepared for a crown and now you're ready to have your crown fixed. How do you make sure that you have a perfect crown being done? Let me show you. I'm going to show you the different criteria on these models because it's easier to see. But these are the exact same factors that we would check in the mouth to make sure that we are delivering a perfect crown. The first criteria that we check for is the color and the anatomy of the crown. We want to make sure that the shape of the crown is harmonious to the rest of the teeth in the mouth and that the color of the crown matches closely with the adjacent teeth. The second criteria are the margins of the crown. We want to make sure that there is a very smooth transition between the edges of the crown and the tooth and that there is not even the slightest gap at this edge. This is how we make sure that we have a perfect seal all around the crown. Third, we check the contacts between the crown and the adjacent teeth. We want the floss to snap through the contacts. If the floss goes through the contacts too easily, it would mean that the contact is too light, which can lead to food getting stuck in the area. You also don't want the contact to be too tight, which would make it difficult to floss. Last, we check to make sure the bite of the crown is level with the adjacent teeth. This is to prevent problems that can be caused by a crown that is too high or too low. So these are the criteria to look out for next time that you're having a crown face on your tooth to make sure that you're getting a perfect crown.